Hello friends, welcome back. I hope you're having a fun new day today and that you're learning lots and enjoying your time. Uh, we are going to keep talking about, if you remember before we talked about apples, we're going to keep talking about that today. And I have something pretty cool to show you today and I'm so excited. So we'll hurry and read our story and then I can show you what I have and it's super fun. So today we are going to be reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And this story was both written by and illustrated by Eric Carle. That means he wrote the words and drew the pictures. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Do you see the little egg right there? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up, and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Could you eat all that food in a day? That's a lot of food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. Look at him. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole inside in the cocoon. Um, he pushed his way out. And what do you think he's going to be? He was a beautiful butterfly. That's pretty cool. All right, so if you remember, one of the very first things that the caterpillar ate was an apple because apples are very healthy for us. So I just want to remind you the cycle of an apple. To get the apple, you plant the seed, turns into a bud, and the bud blossoms, and they, you, uh, the blossoms produce the apples on a tree and then you get the apple. So what I have that is so fun and so cool is I have an apple here and I cut it down the middle and look what was inside. Do you see that? There are seeds inside of the apple and if you look even closer in the seed it's a shape. It's a star. A star has five points. There's one, two, three, four, five. You can see? Let's see if I can take one out. I kind of cut the seed in half when I cut the apple, but here is a seed from an apple, from the apple I just cut. Oh, darn it, I dropped it. Kind of slippery. Can you see that teeny tiny seed? It's not a good angle. Pretty cool. So you plant the apple seeds. They turn into a bud and then they blossom. And then you can pick this tree off of the apple. And if you cut it down the middle, you get to see the cool star shape and the seeds inside. I think it's so fun to be able to cut it open and try to get that star when I cut it open. So I hope you enjoy your day and you have a fun, fun time.
Thank you.